Hey, this is Lisa Browning with Music Mix Daily. Day four, CMA Fest, wrapping it up with the amazing and beautiful Emily Ann Roberts. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so nice to see you. You look stunning. Oh, and thank you. You're precious so to you. <laughs> thank you. Not... Oh, no, not this kind of stuff. <laughs> you can't see she's got amazing boots on and oh, the, the whole so shebang. She's really pulled together. Did you have something today out in the Music City Center? Yes, I'll be playing um, the Acoustic Corner stage. Oh, good. Okay. What time? Um, at 3.40. Oh, good. Maybe we can catch that. Yeah. That'd be great. And then I'll play uh, the Spotify House at Old Red. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Tonight. Tonight, yeah. yes. Ooh, even better. Mm -hmm. Even better. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, you've had a very busy week here. Um, have you done CMA Fest before? Yes, but um, this is my busiest year so far. Oh, is it? Um, and this is the first year that I'll actually get to play a CMA sanctioned stage. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah. Oh, I'm that's so awesome. excited. So, you did The Voice. Yes, ma'am. Season nine. Yes, ma'am. Team Blake. Yes, you're good. <laughs> you know, we read. <laughs> Every now and then. Um, how much fun was that? Oh my goodness, it was so much fun, and it was such an incredible um, just learning experience yeah, yeah. to be able to um, perform on live television, yeah, and yeah. you know, now there's not too, too much that I get nervous about, because I feel no. like if I, can, if I can tackle that, then um, I should be able to tackle anything, but um, yeah, it was, it was so, so fun, and I met so many incredible people, right. and right. Um, Blake, put me in touch with so many awesome people and actually put me in touch with his manager after the show. And so um, his manager has been managing me for the past three years. Here oh, that's in awesome. Yeah. That's the biggest favor Blake could have ever done for me. So yeah. I'm so yeah. thankful for him. Well, I mean, he knows what he's doing. So he, for knows, sure. he knows good talent when he sees it. So I'm sure that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Let's just cut to the chase. You have a nice new single out. Actually, it's fabulous. called Someday Dream. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, It's thank really, you. really good. So tell us a little bit about it. All right. Well, it's probably one of my most favorite songs I've ever written. Is it? Um, I love it so much just because I feel like it was a song that I really needed when we wrote it. Um, I feel like I am notorious. Maybe other people are too. But I'm notorious for saying like, oh, someday when this sure. happens or someday when that happens. And um, I was in that like this rut of doing that a, a couple of years ago and um, I was in town and I was writing and um, doing a bunch of stuff behind the scenes but I wasn't releasing music yet and I wasn't really playing that much out and so um, but um, I was so focused on where I was trying to get to that I missed where I was in the moment and I finally realized oh my goodness um, of course yes I have big dreams that are ahead of me but I'm getting to live my someday dream today I'm, I'm writing something songs every day and, and I am playing shows and I'm recording my music and sharing it with people and um, that's the dream. Okay. So it was a really good aha moment for me yeah, um, yeah. and also it, the song is very confident. It's all about owning whatever it is you're chasing. It's exactly um, what it is. Yeah, yeah and great. so I hope that when other people hear it um, that they'll feel encouraged to keep on chasing their someday dreams. That's great. It's, it's, it's a very positive song. Thank I like you. it a lot. Yeah. You. And you have new music coming out yes. yeah, pretty soon. I'm so excited. We will be releasing my first EP oh. in July, actually July 12th. Very so nice. it's actually called the Someday Dream EP. And um, it has six songs on it that I'm so excited to share with everybody. And it is just the first little taste of so much. I've been in town writing for the past three years, so I have so much new music. Oh, I'm sure. So yeah. this is just a, a snippet. little snippet of what's to come. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I'm excited for you. I'm oh, ex thank I really you. am. I think you're amazing, and I'm really excited for what is to come. Do you want to play a game with us? I would love to play a game. We are playing this game called Mixtape, and okay. it's just it's it's easy, fun, no nerves. It's there's no rules. There probably okay. are rules, but we don't play by them. Okay. So all you have to do is pick a card and read it aloud, and you'll know exactly what to do. It's okay. not hard. It's it's just music stuff, but it's easy music stuff. Okay. There's no wrong answer. Okay. If you don't like the card, don't like said card, just throw it down and take another one. Okay. So not everything is for everybody, but they're they're all pretty easy. Okay. Yeah. They're fun. Let's see. What the heck? Okay. Next. She's actually like, next. <laughs> not that one. Not that one. <laughs> okay, hold on. <gasps> Ooh. Do I need to read it out loud? Yeah, read it aloud. Oh, it I'm loud. over here like. <laughs> okay, you've been cryo frozen sure. and brought back 1,000 years from now. What song do you play for people of the future to sum up music from your time? 
<laughs> I love it, but it's probably not going to be music from exactly my time. That's okay. I'd play them something by the Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks. Oh, the yeah, record. I love the Dixie Chicks. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Can you want to do another one? Yes. All right. <laughs> She's like, yes. I have the hang of it now. Okay, you just won a ticket to a private show with 50 other people in an intimate setting. What band or song do you want them to play first? Huh. Video everyone and setting what band or song do you want them to play first? I don't know. You're in charge. Like Anything the, you want. What's I your hate fave? to say like the Dixie Chicks, but the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> but the Dixie Chicks. I see where this is going. Okay, hold on. Let's do see it. if we can talk about something other than Dixie Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um Oh my gosh, track one of the best road trip mixtape ever created. Totally Wide good. open spaces. <laughs> nice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun, right? It's a fun game. Very fun. I can, we can do this all day. We've actually done it for the last four days straight. Everybody, we talk to you, and it's still fun. Um, tell us where to find you online. <laughs> All right. Um, anything that you need to know is on my website, emilyannroberts.com. But I'm also a real fun party on Instagram, so you can check me out there. Um, it's at emilyann underscore music. The Twitter, um, my Twitter account is the same handle, at emilyann underscore music. And then on Facebook, I'm Emily Ann Roberts Music. And is there, a, I might have missed, is there a website? Yes, emilyannroberts.com. You might just be easier to go there and just follow it <laughs> follow all. Follow it all. It's just so one and done. <laughs> just don't have to pull out the apps or anything. And then you just have it all. Thank you so much. We look forward to this new EP. It's going to be great. Oh, I can't wait you. to hear it. Thank you so much Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me.